Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In the series of algorithm analysis, next we are going to analyze the fourth type of problem that is when the loop variable is divided by some constant. But before getting into this video, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, do subscribe and also hit the bell icon so that you will be get notified whenever I upload a new video. Now look at this question, here this variable i is divided by 2. So what is the time and space complexity for this problem? As we learned in lecture 2, every statement in your code takes one unit of time. So this declaration statement takes one unit of time because it will be executed only once. And then this statement is present inside the loop. So we have to find out how many times this statement will be executed or you can say we have to find out the number of iterations. For each iteration, i value is divided by 2. Initially, i is n. After the first iteration, it will become n by 2 and then it will become n by 4 and then it will become n by 8. So this pattern will be continued till i is equal to 1 because that is our for loop condition. See here, this constant value is 2. So, write these values in terms of 2. So, this is n by 2 power 0. This is n by 2 power 1. This is n by 2 power 2. This is n by 2 power 3. And so on, n by 2 power k. So, you can also write i as n by 2 power k. Therefore, n by 2 power k equal to 1. Here also, n by 2 power k greater than or equal to 1. Now, this k will give you the number of iterations, which means you will know how many times this statement will be executed. Let's find out the k value. So, take this 2 power k to this side and then take log on both sides with base as 2 2 power k and then we can bring this k here so log n base 2 is equal to k into log 2 base 2 we know that the value of log 2 base 2 is 1 so k is equal to log n base 2. So this statement will be executed k times and therefore the time unit for this statement is log n base 2. Now what is the total time unit? Log n base 2 plus 1. This one is for this statement and log n base 2 is for this statement. In priori analysis, we have to ignore the constant term. So the time complexity for this problem is order of log n base 2. Suppose instead of this 2, if you have some other constant value, say for example, if it is 3, then this pattern will become n by 3 power 0, n by 3 power 1, n by 3 power 2 and so on n by 3 power k and that is equal to 1. Now if you apply the same logic here then you will get k as log n base 3. So whatever the value you are using here that will become the base for log. Now what is the space complexity? As we learned in lecture 2, every variable in your code takes one unit of memory. Here we are having two variables, s yes and i. Each variable takes one unit of memory. And the total memory unit is 2, which is constant. So space complexity for this problem is order of 1. That's it for this video. Feel free to write your doubts and queries in the comment section. And if you like my way of teaching, then hit the like button and also do subscribe to my channel.